of the Saba Saba rally tomorrow. Thank you. And um, as you can see, we're getting ready for... Now, get me right. I'm not saying it's going to be violent. I'm just saying it's not a very bad idea for you to have access to a bulletproof vest or a helmet. It has been a week full of intrigues and everything that happened, including any mosquito that was swatted, was a journey, a build-up to the main event, which we are calling... It all started with this guy, Moses Courier, a one-of-a-kind gentleman. He finally got what he was looking for, a vehicle to take him to the house full of honorable members. But as he will tell you, it's not exactly an easy journey. At some point, you'll have to do some odd jobs. For instance, being a tour guide for a dear friend Olelenku, he of mattresses are burning fame when he decided to become a night walker. Kuria offered to show him around the CBD because Olelenku lives in the diaspora that is Rongai and may have easily got lost in the big city if he were left all alone. He was so splendid on that job that everybody completely forgot he has an ongoing case in court for apparently saying some unpalatable things on the internet. Oh, by the way, if he got elected and was found guilty of that crime, they'd have to look for another MP. But that's not important. What's important is that immediately he got his vehicle... 300,000 people have agreed that we got to have that dialogue with Raira in his home in Karen. Right. So Kuria had his plan in mind. But their friends from the other side of the river discovered that their plan on Saba Saba might be hampered by Kuria's friends making similar plans that they fully planned to carry out their plan in the same venue as they had planned. So it was time to produce documentation as proof. But before they produced the documentation, however, they agreed that whoever paid the highest price would have the venue. Voila! These guys were given the venue and it is customary of a groom getting a bride. They went to meet their bride just to make sure she was still there. But this bride has a history and her history is not exactly pretty. If this service was going to be memorable for the right reasons, then she needed cleansing. In the meantime, people from as far as Naivasha had started parking their belongings and were planning to travel to Nairobi to attend this all very important meeting. Oh, sorry, I read that wrong. They were fleeing their homes for fear of violence, but how is that important? Here's what is important. We must have dialogue. But let's shelve that war of who is the loudest of them all for a moment. There's a very serious war going on in the country that you probably have no idea about between Aromat and Quail Eggs. Quail Eggs took the country by storm some time back before Aromat blew past them to take top position. But now, the eggs are back with their mothers with a vengeance. You see, Quails did not take it kindly that Aromat suddenly became the king of, well, basically anything improved. They went back, strategized, and after holding dialogue amongst themselves, came up with a foolproof plan. Gabu County Quail Eating Day, featuring only on farmers to come at the exhibit the, the various products out of quail. It is a day for the local farmer, for the local consumer to come on board and taste exorbitantly to know what is all about the quail. Yes. A special day to feast on these poor defenseless birds. And anybody who is found on this day eating anything else other than quills or their eggs or their other products, which by the way, have increased in numbers since you last checked, shall be given 40 lashes. And if you're still are doubting Thomas on the health benefits of these little things, let's talk to an expert. <laughs> Let's have a practical example. Without quill eggs, this is just an ordinary song. But with quill eggs... He's another example.
having too many quail eggs is that you actually get good at what you do, which is what we here at KTN have been taking. That's why we're just so damn good. In fact, our crew had feasted on some huge amount of quills and their eggs when they decided to drive to Wajir. The problem was, they forgot to order for the special quill egg fuel for their minivan. <laughs> Now, there was this proposal to have Samba Samba declared a public holiday because, as Milio Diambo explained last week, the majority of the population is unemployed, so they are on a permanent uh, public holiday anyway. If you are supposed to be at your place of work, kindly go and work. Clearly, Atoli doesn't understand what's going on here. This is an important day that needs the full concentration of all Kenyans who should be on public holiday if they're not on one already. So, we asked the head of civil service, Joseph Kenua, and he said, quote, There will be a roll call on Monday in all government offices to find out who reported to work and who didn't. And those who will be found to have missed... <laughs> Wilson Buru, for KTNs, Mock the Week.